I had a career coach. His name is Rick Galero. I remember being in the session and I was confiding to him about my peers. We had this team called the Dream Team. And it was me and like three other coworkers and we all did different things. And I was like, I love them. They helped me get through this journey, but sometimes I'm in meetings and I feel inadequate at times. And he was like, why? Because Tim can like spin up a pivot table and Scott is like, fit, you know, and he was like, but that's not, that's not your skill set. He said, lean into your skill set, not theirs, because you're there for a reason. They rely on you to be really good at what you do. And you can obviously learn from them. But if you're trying to be them, how can you be you? How important it is to understand me in this stage of my life, because it affects the next job I'll take. It affects how I build my company. And what I mean by that is understand what my skill set is, because I feel like we say we've had these skills for years but they change and they develop. You get better at certain things. Some things you don't really harness or you don't develop. And it was a skill set you were good at. And now your new level or new life requires you to level up and you have it. Right now I'm learning that the more I understand what makes me tick, what makes me feel insecure, what makes me feel really powerful will help guide how I navigate through life. When I first joined WISE, at the time I was the director and I had like 33 people under me. My first interaction, I spoke to a lady, I'll never forget her, Michelle Wilderman. She is just awesome. We're all in the conversation, just like being very honest, being able to let your guard down. And it was a safe space where you often don't get that. And it was a reminder that a lot of times we're going through the same things, the special complex where... No one really wants to feel like they're special. When it comes to like work and your journey, you're the only one typically. There's not many people that you can relate to or talk to, mm -hmm. or when you're so high up, it's really difficult. So when you're reminded that I'm not the only special one, right? There are a bunch of people on this journey with me and I just need to build this community so that I don't feel so alone. That is my very favorite aspect. Michelle actually introduced me to one of her coworkers and um, I was able to talk to her when I was like at a very pivotal point in my life. She was just like, you're at a fork in the road. Here's all the things that you need to think about and to do. And just know that I'm a part of your network now.